Good morning, good morning guys on day 14 on the Camino, fast approaching Le Pew and Valais, only three days away counting today and we have a long day today. How long is it? 32 kilometers, the longest so far on the entire trip and we're going to be climbing about a thousand meters. Today is going to be overcast and just a little bit hot because yesterday it rained all afternoon, it was nice and cool, I had a great nice sleep and let's try not repeat that today. But of course I know it won't rain anymore for the rest of the trip, which is kind of sad. Well, I've been walking for an hour and a half, 6.3 kilometers, and it's been a steady climb, not such a big uh, gradient. I think uh, most of that 1,000 foot of elevation that we're climbing is gonna be over a long distance, so I don't think I'm gonna be encountering very steep uh, climbs. It's gonna be up and down anyways. It's been going through uh, back country roads like this one, sometimes going off into the path, which because of the rain yesterday, it's just a little bit damp. I'm not gonna say muddy, but just damp. Today I have an option at the halfway point of the day, about four hours away from here. I think today is gonna be like eight hours walking, maybe 10 with a couple of, or a few breaks, including lunch. At the halfway point where I was supposed to stay on today's stage, if I would have started in the town that, where I had uh, the beer yesterday, there's a restaurant right there it opens at 11 o'clock in the morning. Now, since I left at 6, 6.30, I should be getting there around 10.30, so I don't know, we'll see. I will have to wait in order to have lunch. I don't think there's anything else in today's uh, stage. So if I skip lunch, it will be dinner when I get to town uh, this afternoon, because I will probably be getting there around 4 p.m., somewhere around that time. I'm staying at a hotel, I had already booked like the, the Gita Tap Comunal, but the problem is that they want me to get there before 6 p.m., kind of like the first day here on the Camino, and I have to go get the key at the church or, or the, the city hall, I'm not sure. And you know what, instead of making it a race, I'm just gonna take my time. So I booked the hotel in bookings.com, and uh, I could get there at any times. And uh, also that hotel has a restaurant, so everything is rolled up into one. I need to do laundry today because yesterday I couldn't do it. Of course, it was raining all afternoon. And hence the reason why I have three sets of clothes. Now I have one dirty, the one that I'm wearing, which will be dirty by the time I make it to the hotel. And then I have a backup, a backup that I will be using today and tomorrow while I wash all my clothes today. If I can't do it today either, then that's it. I'm out of luck and I will have to do it tomorrow no matter what unless I want to get to Le Pew and Valet stinking. And I don't want to do that, of course. <sighs> Let's continue. It's going to be a long day. It's been a very easy morning, I have to say, here in the forest, which I love so much, better than the <laughs> agricultural fields, that's for sure. With a gentle slope, I mean, I gain about a thousand meters of elevation over like 18 kilometers, and I barely felt it. In some sections, it even felt like I was walking on flat terrain. Made it to the first town along the way, and the first town and only town that has any support, I got there at 10.50 in the morning. I went to the bar or the cafe that I knew already in advance and of course it was closed. I was looking inside, did not see anybody and that 10 minutes went by at 11 o'clock 
when the owner showed up and I asked him if uh, he had anything to eat because there's really nothing much other than this place. And he told me that he could make something up for me, some like a cold dish because uh, the kitchen doesn't really open until noon. I had no issues with that, so I sat down and I waited and I waited and half an hour later, the guy showed up with a plate full of uh, goodies, cheese, meat, everything was cold cut. And then after I finished around noon, decided to head out because I still have the other half of today's stage ahead of me, which is like 17 kilometers. Back in the forest after visiting the, the church, there's a memorial there for like a bomber that I think went down here during World War II. I see the symbols on the tree, so maybe I'm heading towards it. Let's see what's uh, a little bit further down the road. I think from now on, it's just a gentle up and down. In total, I may be gaining about 400 meters of elevation, so it should be a piece of cake. <sighs> Let's see how fast I can make it into town, but I think it's gonna be sometime around 4 p.m. Let's do it. to say today was one of those days where I was pleasantly surprised. The walk through the forest was the best that I've seen on the entire trip. Even though that last 17 kilometer stretch did not have any water at all whatsoever other than a few streams. So unless you have a water filtration system, you better pack up. I did get to see a couple of snakes and also a worm that looked like a snake. It was pretty weird, I don't know. <laughs> and then I of course made it to town at 4, 4 15 in the afternoon after walking 36 kilometers did they say 32 they're always wrong it was 36 the temperature wasn't that bad it was like in the 80s but the cool breeze i had the umbrella i was under the canopy of the forest for the most part and here in this hotel i have a balcony i did laundry and i rigged the clothes here to dry with the cable that i brought mm? Was I prepared or not? So I have this nice uh, balcony. This is my room. Already took a shower and I think I'm gonna have to head into town to get a bite to eat because I don't know. I don't know if this hotel doesn't look like it's alive. We'll see. I found it on bookings.com just to make sure that I have something locked even though I had the time to go to the Jeet de Tap Comunal. But here I am. So yes. Bye to eat, two more days to Le Puy en Valais. We're getting closer. Yes, we are. Just got back from the center of town, making the rounds, looking for a place to get a bite to eat. All the restaurants were closed, all the bars were closed, except for the pizza place, of course. And uh, so it was pizza and an orangina. Went to the church and I saw the first, for the very first time, the stained glass uh, windows that I love so much on the Via Podienses and the altar. Everything was lit. Everything was nice. You can tell that we're getting close to Le Pew and Valais. Right next to the church is the, the Jeet Comunal. I went there. There's just nobody inside. So I guess I made the right call. And then on my way back, I made sure that I will have a place to have breakfast tomorrow, a few boulangeries. But as I made it here to the hotel, the lady at the front desk asked me at what time do I wanna have breakfast. She recommended eight or nine, and I'm like, you know, tomorrow I have a 30 kilometer day. So 6.30 it is. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna call it a day because today I'm dead. 36 kilometers, dead tires, not even eight o'clock yet. And for also for the first time, I was walking down the streets without the sun scorching me. So the temperature is starting to cool down a little bit, which is always great. Two more days and the trip is over and the mission is complete. See you tomorrow at 6.30.